Okay. What is the one two three one two three? Hi everyone. Okay. So what we're going to start today is really introducing JavaScript. Is that right? And yes. and we would like to see how can we do something like the whiteboard. And in fact, the way I designed the whiteboard in Academy City is I started with a very simple uh, screen. And even more than that, it's first of all to have a screen like that. And then inside it to embed stuff inside. So, and after doing it, turn it into a code. So I'm writing something in JavaScript that can help me to make it automatic. So I don't have to write the HTML. Okay, let me explain that point. See, this page is empty. If I go back to the PyCharm and I will delete the script. It's no script, it's empty page. Let's refresh, empty, there's nothing. Yes. And now is how do I make a box inside here to make a, a something like, a, let's say, let's take the simplest one. Let me put it back first. Um, I will just comment it out. I will, I'll put it, hold a second, so I won't lose it. I'll put it here so I won't lose it. You know, you learn it one, but this is a really sophisticated one. This is a very high level. And lucky you, you got to this point. It's not easy, okay? And I'm gonna teach you in a minute. Say I'm copying for myself, by the way, okay? It's empty. If I wanted to put a box around here, I can do a div and you should start as a homework. Michael, you, you're writing it down, homework for today? Yes. It's time to go to the website that I really like. I really admire those people did that. It's, uh, I think it's three school, how did they call it? W. Yeah, w yeah exactly. I like those guys. They did excellent job. Excellent. Here we go. HTML. You should learn by heart. The whole thing here. Home. Go over it. Start learning about it. Okay. Start reading. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent material. Editor. Basic. Element. Attribute. Heading. Paragraph. Styles. You should know it. Okay. Get going over up to the next session. Get up to, you know, you can even, this one you can skip forms. We do it more sophisticated. Okay. Yes. This one is a little, this is really, you know, I remember 20 years, more than 20 years when I saw it the first time. We always write X HTML. Just read it, see the difference. It's really similar. We just follow some rules. But please, please go over it, okay? Go over it. it. You know, it's not easy. Links, very important. What links is? How do I make a link? You have the whole thing straight. There's a lot of beautiful examples. You know, you want to try it yourself. You learn how to make. You know, when you click here, it will take you to the website of the whatever you see here. It's beautiful stuff. Excellent, excellent material for study. So please do use it on the HTML. Start with HTML. Then they have also JavaScript, as you see here. Yes. Start following, learning it. It's very, see, event, it's advanced topic. And I will require, you have to learn it in this course. Very important. You don't need it for Python, but on the job, see the beautiful part of it, this is when you have a button. Here, let's see this one. You see, and you want, you click on the button, it does something. You got it? Yes. So this is event. So you have an event here on click. 
he does something. And this is really beautiful stuff. You should really learn. Okay, so I will go over a lot of the stuff, but I'm going to teach this course in high level. So to be able to survive with me this semester, you must go over those two. Take your time. And Michael, please divide the material yes. in this in, for HTML. See that we need all three HTML and make sure what you don't need. Up to here, uh, forms you don't need, graphics, canvas. We don't going to use SVH as of yet. I will use, I use the canvas for the whiteboard. Okay. Media, we don't need for now. You know, you can leave graphic media, leave that for now. Uh, also HTML API, we can leave it. There's something that it's really advanced. Certificate three will get there. I use drop and drag, drag and drop, and there is something that I want you to, to be able one day to implement in Academy C. Drag and drop, it's really cool stuff. When you take something and you click on it and you move it to another place, you drop it there and it does something. Okay. Very important, sophisticated stuff. This one, it's advanced topics. That will be in certificate three. And here to teach you the basic stuff, what we do here in Academy City, when we go over these examples, we will show how to implement them in real life stuff, okay? So up to here, okay, all the first part, why don't you please go and divide it so every week to make sure you're covering some material. Let's say you do first week up to this point, and then you go over the other one for the next week. And then divide it by five, divide it to five weeks. And every week I know that you covered some material. Fair right. enough. The same things, Michael, you do yes. on CSS. Let me just make sure we have all that. This is good stuff. The advance. You know, let's stop here. That will be fine. Up to only the first part. Okay. You, know, you will forget a lot of that, and that's okay too, okay? But it will be good to start developing, you know, even this one, let's wait on those words. There's so many ways to do the same things, but I think the basic stuff you should really start, borders, how do I make borders, okay? You know, here I have this kind of borders. I want to have it surrounded. There's no reason why you don't start learning those stuff. Okay, yeah. this is client side. Client side is the way you deal with the screen. What we learn in Python, we use it on the server database. We put that and many times we get the screen, but later on we get to certificate three, we see how we combine the two together. And that's really the beauty part of it. But there's a lot of topics, you know, hover around, you know, margins, very important to know how to make margins. You know, if I want to keep this one a little, you know, there is no margins here, but if I put margins here of 200 and you can test it, here we go. You see it moved that on the screen. So you learned all stuff. You learned once, twice, and then the beautiful part is how do I use JavaScript to do a change? Is that right? Right. That's the, that's the beautiful part of it. So please do start learning. And the third one, you should really go on, it's JavaScript. Step by step, you know, we're doing introductions. I'm showing you some stuff. Go over, divide that one also. You know, we'll go over the stuff here and leave those one for now. We do Ajax, which is really sophisticated with JSONs. So, but this is advanced stuff here. Ajax is really beautiful. Leave it for now, we'll get there. We'll get there to those one. This is really beautiful stuff, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So we start with the basic HTA JavaScript, start, start reading, you know, like you're teaching yourself. Step by step, start with HTML, divide it every week. And you know what? In fact, I will even go over it and see, I think all of that, 
you should really start, let's say, how about we do up to, Michael, JavaScript up to values. Okay. This is very easy stuff. Arithmetics, assignments. Let's start up to assignment for next week. Everybody go over there, all of those ones. Okay. And you will remind me, I will keep checking and I will give you to do things. It's getting a little more sophisticated data types, functions. By the way, hold a second. Why don't you write it down up to assignment? Yes. Then data type, okay, that's for the following week, data types, uh, we jump func uh, functions we can. Okay, for the following week, we start with data type, functions, very important. You know already functions in uh, Python. Yes. Very similar concept, just here the syntax is slightly different. Objects, you study in Python objects, remember classes is objects. In JavaScript yes. is similar, just the way we write objects is slightly different. This is an object, very beautiful stuff. This is a hard one. In fact, a function can turn to a class in JavaScript. I do a lot of beautiful stuff with this one. Event is a little hard, we can skip, write it down, Michael. For the following week, I, okay, we're doing up to assignment. That will be first week. Yes. Data types, functions, objects. Events, write it down, we skip events for now. We'll get them. Strings will be also week number two, strike methods. Numbers, number methods, arrays, arrays method, arrays sort, array iterate. That's enough. Up to here will be second week. Yes. Then we have dead, that third week. Dead, that forms, met, random, boolean, comparison, condition, switch. For loop, loop for while and break. That will be third week. Yes. Then we have type conversion, bitwise, regular expression, ex uh, script, skip for now. Errors, it's important. Try, catch, similar to what we have in Python, just the syntax here is slightly different. Scope is very important topic. That one, I don't really know what it is. What does it do? Ah, okay, this is a good to know. Yeah, I know what it is, okay. So you can okay, add it to the next one strict mode uh, it's good to know this keyword this is a hard one it's a very important one very very important i use it so much in a very sophisticated way which week we arrived to the fourth week already which week are we four four let let and var learn what the different cons error function is advanced topic Beautiful stuff. That's the fifth week. That's a uh, fifth week is error function. We start error function. Mm -hmm. That classes skip classes. It's really artificially done in JavaScript. It's really, I think it's maybe one day I will get into that, but I don't think it's adding anything. It's more, they try to imitate other languages. I don't think they need debugging. And that's one you're going to teach me. That's number six, week number six. There's one, Brenda, you're gonna make a lecture on debugging. You're writing it down, sixth week. Very important topic. I have my own style of how to do debugging, learn that topic. Style guide, best part, no, this is already, this is the end. 
Debugging week number six, seven. It's more or less what we need to know. Then the other stuff is we talk about it later on, but I think this is up to here. This is good stuff. CSS, honestly, just go around, learn styles, height and width. You can learn to yourself what it means. Start developing the skills. You see height and width. You have an example here. It's beautiful material, beautiful way of left uh, uh, self study. Can you see my screen? Sure. Yeah. Say so here you play with it. You have a high at 200. I change it to uh, 400. You run it again. What does it do? Made it taller. You got it? Yes. This one here, I have a style and the style is designed for a div. You learn it, it's for a div. So why do I have div here? Here we go. You see, this is a div. It's an empty, I will write my name here in the middle, Amos, and I will run it, it will put Amos inside. So okay. I don't want it to be too high, I can reduce it to 40. So it'll be very short, you got it? It's pretty yes. cool. But you can also make it as percentage, as percentage of the screen. This way, if it would be a small screen, it will take its like percentage of the small screen. When we design the whole thing, we will write a lot of stuff again in Academy City to make it work nicely on a cellular phone. So we'll have to revert a lot of those uh, code to work also nicely on a cellular phone. But this is the basic, you learn how to make an application. Eventually, you know that's very well, and then you start doing sophisticated stuff and you focus on business. That's why I want you to take the course in accounting and finance. Then you can give consulting and finance, but you have something they don't have. You know how to program it. You got it? Yes. Okay, so this stuff you can learn by yourself. Do the same things, just go over it. Michael, divide it between everyone and tell me the progress you're doing every week on the CSS. The opacity is very important topic. You know, when you have two pictures, you see, how do you make it? It's so simple, you just change parameter. How do you make one picture over the other one? You have to have index. Let's see if the index, is the index here? No, icon, where is index? Should have an index. I don't see it for some reason. I use it a lot also. Uh, and then you can make one picture on top of the other one, move them around. You will see, you will like a lot of those stuff. Padding, what the difference between margin, padding, borders, background colors, colors, all of that stuff. Okay, please do. Just go over it, over and over. HTML you must know, you know. The links, images, tables, list. This is really like, how do you make a list like that? Hello. I have to say that I'm in the show right now. Can I have another hour? Okay, half an hour, half an hour, I'll talk to you. Bye, I'm not going to talk to you. Okay. How do you make something like that? You can learn it yourself, it's so easy. You'll be amazed how easy it is. You know, this is the list. UL is a, 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 it's a, an ordered list. And this one, it's ordered list. This one puts numbers, you see, it's the same things. One is UL and one OL. So OL, it's like putting a dot. It's like, I don't really order them. This one I ordered one, two, three, you see that? So if you want to list this one, later on, you can make a beautiful thing, stirring the coffee. If you put the coffee in an A, okay, I'm not, I'm intentionally not doing the whole things. You make it like a link, but you need to know HTML a little bit instead it, it, it will, it, he didn't like me, H. Uh, how do you put it? In a second. 
H R E F. Maybe we like we know H R E F equal slash. It should work. Let's run it. You see, you have a little line now. Now you see that when I put the mouse on the coffee, it has a little color. You see that. So I, I can make it as a link. I will click on it. It will take me to this place. And we learn, in, remember in Python, in Django, yes. how we make the link directly automatically. Yes. And then combine Django with JavaScript, it makes it very powerful. It's pretty, pretty sophisticated. So many people are expert in JavaScript, but they don't know Python or they don't know Django. They cannot do the things that we do. What we do is we're utilizing Python, Django, Jinja too, and we're building this one up on the server. When it gets to the client, he makes this one, which is beautiful, very sophisticated. Now we're kind of leaving ourselves from Django for a while. We're learning some HTML, JavaScript, and then we will combine the two things together. Okay, so let's. What we decided for today, you guys starting to study for next session. I'm expecting you already to finish what I said for session for week one. Mm. And make this uh, website your friend, really. This is excellent. They have, you know, they have even Python bootstrap, we will see later on. In fact, W3CSS, they have several things that are similar to Bootstrap, but Bootstrap is more powerful. jQuery is very similar to JavaScript, but it allows you to access the, it's like, it's like, it really is a lot of functionality of JavaScript similar in Java. We don't really need Java. All of that you can leave. What's really important here, here is HTML, CSS, JavaScript. The rest you can leave. Bootstrap we will see later on. Yes. That's the most important. And then instead of just jQuery, we'll do jQuery to some extent with Ajax, but we're not there yet. That's when you get to JavaScript. This is an advanced topic. By the way, this is beautiful stuff. This is all new addition to what is promises, asynchronous. I use it a lot in the video video chatting this is advanced topics would we'll get to that certificate three but for now just please try to go over those stuff and then i will add i will add there's a lot of uh, excellent material on you know this is a very advanced topics on uh, you know all those special functions apply call invocation parameters those uh, you know, this is really nice stuff. We some applied stuff in map. I don't see the function function map here. They probably have put it in another place. This is very advanced topic. So let's step by step we'll get there. So that's really for first week. I think this is good. Let me just talk about these boxes here. This is empty. Okay. So if I want to make something. I can have a div and say I can give it ID. You have to give it an ID, then you can recognize it using JavaScript. And let's write Amos here. So if I go now into here, I have a box with Amos inside. Is that right? right. Stage number one, you ask yourself can I write a code? Can I write a code? That's enough for today, by the way, that can manipulate, instead of saying Amos, you will say something else. So here the way you do it, you start with an area called script. If you don't write any success, you know that it's, oh, where is my script? Um, and I would like to, first of all, to identify this box. So I give it a name, let's call it, I don't know, uh, let's call it box, doesn't matter. This is the name of that div. Now in JavaScript, I can write a code now, it's something called document. 
that's an object that the browser know what it is. Document, it means really this screen, okay? And then there is a function in JavaScript. That's the first things you need to know called get element. You should know it really by heart, get element by ID. And I will write here a box. Now, this one document that, yeah. Why this is an S, it should be an X. Okay. In fact, what it does is really, it's saying, bring me a reference. I can write a variable. You learn about it there. I'll call it, I can call it whatever I want. Let's call it a B. So B for me now, it's really this box. So far so good? Yes. Now just to make sure it's working, it's working. I'm gonna go write a function that you will know in JavaScript, it's called alert. Alert, it's like print in Python. Python, when you write print and you send something, it will print it down in the bottom, if you remember. Okay? This one, yes. see what will happen if I write B here first. Let's see what happened. Let's run it. Let's refresh. Uh, you see, I got something. The alert gave me this box. Yeah, but it told me it's a document HTML div element. So he recognized it. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is really a beautiful style. Now, what is B? So there is something, a property. B is an object. Now it's a JavaScript object. And I, it's really, it's, it's a whole model called DOM, document management, do, document model. You read about it a little bit. I, I will show you the stuff. But you should really read this session, this certificate going to be a higher level. Okay, and now you are able to handle higher level. In the beginning, you couldn't, but now you are much better than you were in when we started. So if I write outer HTML, you see, I know if it, even it's by heart because I use it a lot. Because let's see what happened now. Let's refresh. It's undefined. Why it's undefined? I made a mistake there. Let be outer HTML. Did I spell it right? I think so. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't like me for some reason. Why? Is out a double T or single? Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I think I deleted some stuff. Hold on. Yeah, this should be HTML. Yeah. This is good. Okay. Now let's go back. Oh, see what we got. What does it give you? It's really showing you how the HTML is written for that part. It really is the, the div itself. That's pretty yeah. cool. There's another thing you can use. It's called inner HTML. Inner, it's what it's inside. You know, it's what it's inside the box. You see, it should be really Amos. Is that right? So if I go here and refresh, it says Amos. See that? Yes. Now you can think about how can I change it? Oh, now it becomes to be simple. I can take this one, okay? Mm -hmm. And tell him, change the inner to be Michael. and Mildred, okay? So what it will do, it will write Michael and Mildred instead of Amos. And then we'll see it again. That would be cool. Yes. See it again even before he's printing it. So at the beginning, this one should show me Amos. This one is gonna change it. And this one is gonna show me Michael and Mildred. And then he's gonna show it to me on the screen. So let's see. Refresh. Oh, it says Amos. That's one, it's the first one. It's this one, because that's what we have inside. Then it's going to change it to Mildred, uh, uh, Michael and Mildred. So we'll get a, another alert. 
Okay, here we go, Michael and Mildred. And now he's gonna show it on the screen. See that? That's pretty cool. So in fact, I really don't need that one. This is unnecessary. I really, all what I want is to be able to change it here. And now, this is a little tricky. You never see Amos. It, go, it works so fast. You put Amos first, but he immediately put Mildred there. My guy Mildred. So if I go and refresh it, don't be surprised. You will not see Amos anymore. Because okay. it doesn't have even time to see the Amos that was there originally. What I can do, I can do it like that. This is pretty cool. And I can do plus. And what do we get now? Amos, Michael, and Mildred. Is that yes. right? Because it takes whatever he has inside and he add to it Michael and Mildred. This is Amos as of now. But I'm changing Amos to be Amos plus comma Michael and Mildred. And now let's see if we run it. That's what we'll get. Pretty cool. Yeah. Brenda, you got it? Yes, I'm looking. Brenda. Yes, I have. I didn't hear you. I said I've got it. Good. Jeremiah? You got it? Yeah. Very good. So this is really cool. For next week, please go over the stuff I asked you. I think this is a good start. Okay? Yes, please. How about this one, by the way? Let me maybe just remind you. I would like to send you those files. I want to send you the boxes file. Hold a second. Let me go to, where's the WhatsApp? I had it open before. Mm -hmm. And that's enough for today, I think. Okay. Michael, did you have a chance to learn how to edit videos? Yes, I did using uh, InShot, no, Shortcut. Yeah. I, I watched some tutorials on Beautiful. Like even, like even how very soon I would like you to record the session you guys doing and edit them and uploading them. You get to start to learn how to do all that stuff, okay? Okay. Well, now I would like to add here those files. So you can start learning them, downloads. This one is a good one. Uh, the boxers. Uh, I think I killed it. Let me put it back for a second. Where did I put it? Hold a second. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, let me put this one back. Now, this is too hard. You know what? Let's leave it. The boxes will go over it, and then I will give it to you. Let's leave the boxes for as it is now. This will be too hard. I think it will be too hard. Let's go over this one. Let's go over this one. And the video, you don't need as of, as of now. I send you those two, the boxes and the other one, okay? The boxes, it's the one we just did now. Right. And just uh, this one we did last time, just try to see if you can, can understand it. And I will go over that one next week, okay? Next time. When our next session, we said, when we're starting, on the 5th, if I recall, or the 3rd. Yes, 5th January, Tuesday. On the 5th. Yeah. Okay, until then, try to catch up with the stuff I told you. And we talk over time, okay? 
Okay. Have a good one, guys. And uh, Michael, I might have you on the session after I talk to those two guys. Michael and Jimmy, we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about it and we'll take it from there. Okay, right. get the second team. Don't forget everything I talked about today. Have a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm.